Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Arim, and today I'm going to be walking you through my skincare favorites. So just before we get into everything, I wanted to show you. Now this is my morning routine. And then this is my evening routine. And obviously I don't use all of these products at once. I kind of mix and match, but these are the ones I like to use. So I do not have any makeup on right now. I wanna show you guys what my skin looks like. And I'll be honest, I'm filming this on a good skin day. Um, so you can see some like pigmentation there and you can see some through. And then I also have an oily T-zone. So that's my forehead, my nose and my chin, but then the rest of my face is dry. And that means I have combination skin. The way that you can find out what type of skin type you have is once you've had a shower, don't put any product on your face. 30 minutes later, see whether there's oiliness or it's really, really dry or if it's different patches like me. That would mean you have combination. If it's still dry, dry. If it's oily, oily. So with that being said, I just want you guys to know that obviously I've done my own research. I'm really, really into beauty in general. Um, like every day I watch videos about skincare. I'm literally obsessed. He's called Hiram. If you guys want to watch him, he's this really cool guy from Hawaii. I love him. And I have to say to you, I'm not a specialist. I'm not a doctor. I don't, you know, I'm not an aesthetician. I'm nothing. This is just my personal skincare routine. And it's something that kind of I've played around with for the last couple of years and I'm happy with this and it's constantly evolving. You guys know me, I'm always trying new products. So this is my current favorites. Ask me in a like month, it might be completely different, but a lot of these products I have been using for nearly a year now, all over actually, one of them I've been using for like three years and I love them. So before you go out and try any of these things though, please, please, please guys, speak to a dermatologist, speak to a doctor because a lot of things that might work for me might not work for you and that's okay. I also want to say a lot of your skincare and your sorry a lot of the things to do with your skin comes down to your genetics so if you suffer from dark circles under your eyes could be genetic if you have a higher tendency to getting pigmentation could be genetic i know people of color have a higher likelihood to get post-inflammatory pigmentation so just bear all of this in mind and let's just jump into it because i'm excited i have so many like good things to show you guys so let's start with morning i wash my face i don't tend to wash it with soap in the morning i wash it with water but if i do wash it with soap this is the face wash i use this is the simple micellar water face wash it's very very gentle i feel like it's very effective at re that's my dad taking out the bins wonderful i feel like it's really effective when it comes to taking off off your makeup if i have put on like a nighttime treatment then i will wash my face off with soap but if i've just got my regular smegular nighttime routine, no actives, nothing like that, then I just wash my face with water. Okay, so once I have washed my face, I like to come out and then use the hydrating serum. So this is the Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Moisturizing Intensive Serum. I really like this, it absorbs instantly. There's a lot of product in there. By the way, a lot of these things were gifted to me, but you guys know I get gifted a lot of products, so only the very best stay with me. And I would only ever recommend you guys products that A, I would use, but B, I would actually pay for when I run out. And some of these I actually have paid for myself. It's really good, it absorbs instantly. I find that if I don't use a hydrating serum, the ordinary hyaluronic acid is also a very good and cheaper substitute. I find that throughout the day, if I just have my cream on my face, if I pull my skin, there's little lines of dehydration and they're not wrinkles, it's just your skin being dehydrated. But when I use this, I notice that that is offset for a little bit longer. Now the next thing I like to use as a moisturizer throughout the day is the Pixie Beauty Vitamin C Caviar Balm. Now, when it comes to free radicals, you need two types of vitamin to um, like cancel them out. You need vitamin C and vitamin E. I actually lack vitamin E in my nighttime and daytime skincare routine, especially for me living in London. I'm exposed to a lot of pollutants and free radicals. So it's important to be ensuring that you have a C and an E vitamin part of your routine. Obviously C is very good for brightening. Um, and that's why I like this one. Now, the next thing is the Helio Care SPF. You guys have heard me talk about this literally so many times. This is the gel oil free factor 50. I really like this because it's one of the few sunscreens, and I don't know if you guys get this, but they really sting my eyes. I don't know why. This one doesn't. The only problem is it definitely dries out your skin throughout the day, so you need to top up your moisturizer and you need to top up your sunscreen. But my very good friend, Dr. Vanita Ratan, recommends reapplying your moisturizer many times throughout the day, regardless of how dry it feels. Now, once my sunscreen is on, I have to use this Dr. Sam Bunting lip balm. Now. 
Many of you know that I actually have eczema on my eyelids. It kind of flares up in times of stress, often on the back of my hand right here as well, which is still there. Now, for any of you who have eczema, you know that often you are prescribed steroids. Now, steroid, they're really, really good. They kind of calm your skin down, but at the same time, they thin your skin. And especially on an area as delicate as your eye, you really don't want to thin that skin because that's when you get wrinkles and droopiness and touch wood, all of that other stuff. So what I did to kind of wean myself off the steroids that I was given was use this lanolin, lanolin and ceramide formula from Dr. Sam Bunting. Now their stuff is really, really good, genuinely, because it has like very little ingredients, it's very good for sensitive skin. And this is like an all purpose balm, I'll show you guys. You know, sis ain't a YouTuber. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to like connect all of this stuff, whatever, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's really, really good because it's very thick. It's not scented. I try and avoid fragrance products as much as I can, but obviously sometimes you can't. And it stays on your eyelids for a really, really long time. And especially if you're going to sleep, like you guys can see, I actually have it on my eyelids right now. It kind of gives like a cute wet eye look, which I'm not mad about. Uh, I don't know if you guys wanted to know this, but these are the eye drops I use. This has really dry eyes just dry all around this area. I don't know what's going on, but I use the Sustain eye drops. Shout out to my optometrist friend for giving me these. Thanks girl. So that is my daily morning skincare routine. It's very few steps. Like I don't know if you want to consider the lip balm and the eye drops as a step, but there we have it. And now I'm going to move into my nighttime routine. And this is where it gets fun. This is where we do the fun active stuff. So normally my nighttime skincare routine is really like four steps. But if I'm having like a night in, which I'm having all the time to be honest now, and I just really, really wanna pamper myself, here are the things that I will be doing. I'm a very strong believer in having soft, kissable lips. I hate when I see people with dry, crusty lips, like even if it's just like a random out on the tube, I'm like, ugh. So, I use the Honey Lip Scrub from Lush. The reason why I use the Honey one is because honey is super nourishing. So there's a lot of different flavors like bubble gum and stuff like that. And those are all well and good. They're nice experiences, but I'm kind of like, oh, my nose is tickety. I'm here for the effects. So exfoliating can be quite harsh. Then when it has like the honey, it kind of balances it out. So it moisturizes your lips as well. And they feel really, really soft. I do this like once a week. And like I said, if it's a big skincare day, what I go in with is a mask. I will never use more than one mask at once. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite masks. This mask is the Charcoal Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I love this. Be careful not to leave this on for more than 10, 15 minutes because it is, it sucks everything out of your face. Like, trust me, like, it gets rid of so much oiliness and kind of like congestion. And I've been using this for like nearly a year. Whenever I'm using like a charcoal mask, it's always this one. It's what I do when I feel like my skin just needs a really big overhaul and a detox. I don't really actually use this that often because it's so strong. I use it maybe once every two weeks. So it is literally getting hot. Right, my toner of choice. I love this one. Also, they sent me one with my name on it. So it's the Pixie Glow Tonic. And if you know me, I have been using this since I was, I think 21 or 22. This really changed my life, guys. Like this was the start of me actually having quite like stable skin. I don't tend to get spots, but if I do, it's like a hormonal one and it's a one big one and you're just sat there like, this one really, really helped me kind of to lessen the occurrence of that. So it's the Pixie Glow Tonic, it's a glycolic acid. This isn't the most gentle form of acid. I think lactic acid is the most gentle form of acid. So if you're new to them, I recommend obviously speaking to your dermatologist before just going out to the shop and buying one. Like, please don't do that. Um, but this one is, it is a really, really good one. The only problem is I think it has quite a lot of fragrance in it, which I'm not a fan of, but you win some, you lose some. My two favorite sheet masks are, the Hannah London, it is a workout sheet mask. And this is amazing because it's biocellulose. So it's got that kind of like rubbery, stretchy feel. It's not like a sheet of paper on your face, which is so good because it literally just like sticks to your face. And then if I wanna kind of like do a treatment treatment, now this is something that I would not use often. It's the Neurad, what is it called? Hydro Glow Aqua Peel. So I've been doing these a lot because Normally on the outside, I'm getting like chemical peels. I go to my friend, the face Bible, but this is what I'm using instead. And you kind of like swab this cotton bud all over your face and then you immediately apply this sheet mask. And I really do believe that this has helped me to kind of like even out my skin texture. If you follow me, you know that Sis has a new toy and Sis loves her new toy. It's the Foreo UFO 2. I was gifted this, it's very expensive. 
Um, would I buy it? Yes, because as you can see, Sis is really into her skincare. But it's really, really cool. And basically, it's like doing a sheet mask, but in 90 seconds. And I don't actually mind like taking time with my skincare. But this basically has like pulsations. You put the kind of like cotton pad there with the serum on it, and then you close it connect it to your Bluetooth on your phone, and then you tell the app which one of the sachets that you're using, and then it automatically configures, so it gives you the treatment, and you just sit there and rub it on your face. Guys, it's such a relaxing, relaxing experience. Like, I genuinely love it. Love it. Now this. This next product, I wanna give you a warning, because Sis loves it so much. If you followed me, like, I've been using this for one and a half years. It's the Murad Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum. If you buy one product, buy this product. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is the one thing that works to remove pigmentation for me, for me guys. Now I suffer from post-inflammatory pigmentation. You guys can see here. So whenever I get a spot, I do get a little bit of a mark there. I've been using like the Truth Serum. I've been using um, vitamin C serums and stuff like that genuinely nothing works as instantly and as effectively as this rapid age spot so i've been talking about this literally for months and months and months i love this so much okay let's talk retinol so retinol is something that generally you should be kind of using in your 20s obviously depending on your skincare and what this does it is the only thing that is proven to reverse signs of aging now it is important to work on anti-aging stuff like that i believe from when you're younger just because like you don't want a remedying of it you'd rather do the prevention so i'm very very obsessed with it um but the thing with retinol is you have to be careful with it so you have to use it build up your tolerance so one time a week two times a week then three times a week then maybe every other day this is the retinol i use it's also from murad as a really cool applicator so you kind of just like push it you guys can't see basically you push it and it comes out this is obviously not a sponsored video by the way but i also use the murad retinol eye cream i don't think this is a necessity i do like it but i don't think it's a necessity it's just kind of like an extra like luxury step my eyes feel nice after i've used it i don't know if i can tell the difference though but that might just be because i'm 25 um and like there's nothing really to like reverse but maybe I'm doing some good in like preventing some things. I don't know. Now I like to seal all of this in with a facial oil. This is the ordinary cold pressed rosehip oil. I really like this. I find that no one oil fits every single person. Rosehip oil really, really fits well with my skin. Coconut oil, I find that it just kind of sits on top of my skin. It's a comedogenic, which means that it clogs your pores. I really don't like that. Rosehip oil just seems to sink in really nicely to my skin and as well it's an occlusive, so it locks in all of your products, which I love. And finally, because we know Sis is a night owl, Sis doesn't sleep until like three in the morning. So when I'm done all my skincare and I'm in my pajamas at bed at like eight o'clock at night, come two in the morning, my skin might kind of like need another piece of attention. Probably not because I use a lot of products, but if I do feel like I need a little bit of extra, then around two in the morning, I will apply this Murad Night Enzyme Fix. It's like a prebiotic. So especially if I've done quite a harsh treatment, like maybe like a derma painting or um, an exfoliation, I like to use this because it kind of restores your skin's natural bar barriers. And I do feel like my skin looks a little bit more glowy in the morning once I've used this. I think, okay, no, 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 no. I have one more. Now this is the Jo Malone Body Cream. We can't talk about skincare without talking about body care because this is really into body care. Like I got a lot of like different, different tips and tricks. I can do a separate video about body care if you guys want, by the way. This is the Germanone Orange Blossom. Not only is this genuinely like a really nice body cream, but it smells so good. When you go to bed, you're like cocooned in your bed sheets and all you're smelling is orange blossom. It is to die for, like it is to die for. I know it's expensive. It's a really good gift if you want to add it to kind of like your birthday list or something like that. Um, but yeah, I love it so much. All right guys, that's it. I hope we enjoyed filming in my bathroom today. Um, I know the lighting's been a bit weird. It's kind of like reflecting off my face in a weird way. You know, sis don't know what to do about that, I'll be honest, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And here's a hug from me to you. You knew it was coming. <laughs> Mwah. I always connect my hands on the other side of the camera and I'm always scared that I'm gonna like topple the tripod over. So one day I'm probably gonna do that. But yeah, listen guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your favorite skincare 
pieces below and at the end of the day guys this works for me it might not work for you you might do things in a different order that's completely okay just do whatever works for you because you know your skin best and i love you and i'll see you in my next video